Hello and welcome to another behind the scenes process video. Today I'm going to be taking you through the process of creating my piece as the world caves in. Uh, I made this last fall of 2021. It was a blast to make and I'm excited to share the journey with you. All right, without further ado, let's jump in. To help speed up the process of production, which to be honest is always a problem for me, and to help me refine the bold mark making I wanted to implement for this piece, I used a digital mock-up of the piece that I made on my iPad. And honestly, it saved me a ton of time and heartache while making the piece. I felt really confident with all the marks that I was putting down because I'd already planned it out ahead of time. So per usual, my first step was to put in the background color with wax pastels so I could then activate it with water and let that cool watercolor texture show through. I should also note here that I am drawing directly onto Arches oil paper. I'm using this because I know that I want to have watercolor texture, I want to use colored pencil, I want to use oil paint, and the only way to really fuse all those three things is to use Arches oil paper. At least that's the best uh, medium I've found for it. So I decided to make the background of this piece gray because the birds are so vibrant and I wanted a significant amount of the background to show through between the bold gestural mark making of the bird's body. So it had to be a pretty neutral color, uh, read the most neutral color. So I left the branch that they were perched on white because I wanted the birds to be the only real visual gravity in the piece. And I also just kind of thought it looked cooler that way. Once I scribbled down enough gray, I activated all of that gray pigment with water and I made sure to use a lot of water so that I would get a bunch of cool watercolor textures that form around the border of the water once it dries. Once all the activated wax pastel was dry, I went in and drew the outline of both birds with colored pencil so that I'd know what I was doing in the subsequent layers and have something easy to refer to. Conceptually, I wanted this piece to give the impression of the birds coming apart, literally unraveling in a surreal semi-apocalyptic world. And even though the world and the parrots themselves were coming apart, they still had each other to lean on. Due to the very gestural, almost abstract way that I wanted to paint the parrots' bodies in, I felt that I had to paint the feet and heads of the birds in with realism, including the appropriate amount of depth and dimension so that the bodies would read as bodies based on those small context clues which act as anchors for the birds in the piece. The feet in particular also tied the birds more closely to the apocalyptic background wrapped around kind of the ghost of this absent branch. So it was really important for me to depict them very clearly. Next, I moved on to the beaks and the eyelids. And I did this because honestly, they were roughly the same colors as the feet. And so those paints were already wet on my palette. So I just moved on straight to those. And then once all the dark blues, purples, grays, all those bits were done, uh, I moved on to the vibrant plumage, putting in the oil paint first. So while I was painting this, I was trying to keep in mind the transition areas, and I wanted the transition from oil paint to mixed media pastel and colored pencil to be both sudden and gradual. So I made an effort to paint in the heads until I reached a point of the neck that would be easy to transition from um, with shapes and mark making 
trying to be really smart about where that transition line was. So once the feet and heads were painted in, at least up and you know up to the transition points, I waited for the paint to dry and then I oiled out those areas with a mixture of Gamsol and Galkid to bring the dried oil paint to an even finish. So like I said, I wanted to make the transition from paint to pastel and colored pencil uh, mark making both immediate but also subtle. And to achieve this, I made pastel and colored pencil marks that either fit into the border of the dried oil paint or made marks that started on the oil paint and ended in the watercolor texture to kind of bridge the gap between the two distinct styles. As I went through making the marks I'd planned out earlier on my iPad, I did my best to stick to the original sketch, but I also kept myself open to reacting to the live mediums and improvising as needed because they certainly don't act quite like they do on an iPad with an Apple Pencil. I wanted to have a strong combination of representational and abstract elements that live in harmony, both sections complementing and completing the others in their own ways. I love mixing these visual elements and will definitely continue to do so going forward, really trying to push the boundaries of what I'm comfortable representing and also what I'm willing to leave up to interpretation. I hope you've enjoyed this process video. If you want to know more about my process, please check out my other videos, website, etc. There is a full-on link salad in the description, so if you've watched this far, try clicking one. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye.